All right, we're back for take two. Leslieville to the tip of Tommy Thompson Park Lighthouse to measure speed bumps. And I'm going to measure a speed bump on the uh, on the way there in the in the city. And uh, you know, one of the residential speed bumps. They're softer and uh, probably about the same height, but they're 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 wider. So I brought my tape measure and. Uh, my uh, my photo bag and uh, here goes without further ado at the back of my house today again much more scenic than the dirty Jones Street this alley system back here on my back porch it, uh, it's a beautiful view so here's Jones I'm gonna slip around to I think it's Mallory Ave up here just to the north before we get to uh, Dundas here, there's a street to one way west. Mallon, not Mallory, Mallon. Mallon Ave. bumps on Burke Mount. There's one right there. So I don't know how I'm going to measure this without a straight edge. I'm not. So that's one foot high right there. It's uh, really hard to tell. It's really hard to tell. I don't know, maybe it's four inch rise, five inch rise. at Tommy Thompson Park will be a little easier to measure as they're only about a foot wide so that's that Strattengers went there for a dinner last night. Wonderful, great place. Neighborhood bar recommended. Oh, we got a movie. Happening at the Tango Palace Coffee Company. Here's 
my right turn down Eastern and push our out. Fatherly wind at 17 clicks, they say. Tough oh, yeah. Eastern going east a little bit. I'm going to avoid the scary corner of Eastern and, and Leslie and take the Price Choppers parking lot. Trains and bikes do not mix. Here we are. Price Chappers has enabled the Lower Don Brick Trail as an entranceway for people in the neighborhood who go shopping with their bikes. These Pantiers or a knapsack works fine. Parking's a lot easier. Here we got some really outrageously stupid people driving their cars honking more horns than driving it sounds like get a life I guess I could take the, uh, well, let's sit here and see how long this takes. Highway Lakeshore Boulevard. There we go. Lots of people using this on a Sunday. Joggers everywhere. It's four I've seen. over here to our next lighted cycleway here across this intersection see how long this takes hey this isn't really cycle infrastructure this is like a stopgap A stopgap until we figure something out. Vance left for everybody here. Lots of accommodation for car here, not so much for the bike. Here we go. Let's see if I can't not get hit. And on to the waterfront trail. KA Martin Goodman Trail. Our Sunday morning activists. Saving our healthcare system lots of money. I got four layers on, four cotton t shirts, and a 
country cotton t-shirts, a long sleeve cotton shirt, and uh, and uh, a wool sweater, which uh, zips up to the neck. That's it. Got a wool hat on. So this is a stop signal here, which people seem to be ignoring. And we're bicycle signaled here as well. Out of the Martin Dittman Trail, the Warren Bridge Trail down here, and then there's the Cape Boulevard, pretty easy. Transport, transportation services. Haven't done much to there. Look at the place right there. It's nice to hear. This is the, about the Portland's waterfront Toronto. This is the eastern extent of it. Close to Unwin Avenue, the bottom of the Portland's area. Say that the Tommy Thompson Park gate is open. It's on all weekends. It's soon to be all year, all week long. As the uh, Toronto Port Authority is going to very soon stop fill there. And as soon as they do that, here's a nice soft speed bump. So, uh, as soon as uh, the Port Authority stops uh, filling, creating more spit, then this will uh, certainly be enabled to turn this into, a, into an all year round, uh, well, all week long anyway, in the summer months, spring, summer, into a urban wilderness park. Here's another all right speed bump. Oh, this is guy serious on those quads. Getting narrower and narrower as we get closer to the park entrance here. Have a look at that. I think they get more ugly after this one. So let's have a look at it like we did before with the one on the street. Get the tape measure out and have a look at it. Whew. 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 
So the top of the tape here is one foot off the ground. I'm going to lie down on my belly and see what we got. I'd say six inches high. Over six feet. Let's go measure the next one. man or something. Looks like binoculars more than it did the camera. I don't see any yachts to repo here. Yeah, this guy, he's ready. Holy moly. Neat. Photographers. Just around the corner here, there is a bird line built on the end of a man-made pond. It's been uh, enabled with all kinds of sunken logs and the right kind of shrubberies and plant life are added to attract birds from a variety of species. Yeah, they're just building the blind now. So that you can watch and photograph document.
down quite a ways. Got a kilometer. Yeah, look at this. measure it. Forgot to check behind me for a stop. Ow. Ow. A very slight breeze here. My uh, kickstand's an eighth of an inch too long. In perspective, I put the bike in the background about four feet from the tape the tape set to 12 inches high at the tip and I'll lie down on my tummy same distance away what was it six feet on the other ones well that's not very high at all is it the tape itself is three inches so it's an inch and a half from this perspective maybe two inches high but short short. I went across these the other day. They're not that bad, but it's the idea. There it is. About 20 inches wide. And a two inch rise. Maybe two and a half. For what it's worth, we'll try uh, flying over one of these down the road a bit. Uh, how that feels. There's a man made pond for the birds. There's the, I don't know if I'm lining up right. That's the blind. Uh, concrete, sort of a concrete basement kind of structure that you'd build for a basement of a house. Stuck into the side of the side of a berm there. Put up a retaining wall to hold that berm back across the front. Looks. I guess that's a design consideration. I don't know if you can see it from here. Let's get on the walking trail. Have a little gander since we're here. Bull rushes. This is a walking only trail. So there it is. What was that movie, yeah, the World War II movie with the, the cannon protecting the uh, Strait of Gibraltar and the good guys blow the hell? That's what it looks like. <laughs> I'm sure the birds don't think so. Probably just. Uh, Go about their business. Toronto Island Airport. Four airlines running passenger jets into here. On the west of the neighborhood of
one's got a little higher grade to it, I think. I don't think there was a lot of, you know, I don't think the guys who built this had a template. It looks like this is a higher than the other one. I'd say three inches. Very unscientific measurement. Carpenter wouldn't be caught dead relying on a measurement like that. That seems a little higher to me. But from here it looks about the same. I'd say it's a half inch, quarter inch higher than the other one. So I don't know. They, uh, they made a template to make sure these were the same and to smooth them out. This one got a little higher somehow.